Is the hubbub over testing overstated? It, d defend the, the star test, defend the mindset that we're in now from an education standpoint, the amount of time that we dedicate to these tests, the amount of classroom time, the amount of administrative time. Uh, because there are a lot of people out there, as you know, who are you know, with pitchforks and torches, they want to overturn the barn here over this. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to ask you to do that. Well, number one, testing tells us where we are. T testing tells us whether our, our, our schools are delivering the instruction, the diffusion of knowledge that, uh, that we set out to do. Uh, it's, it's very important. Uh, the translation, and in fact, if you go from tax to star, tax was you know, the minimum skills, uh, high stakes test and school districts would respond to that, especially under the, old, uh, the older accountability system, uh, where most of their accountability rating came from performance on the tax. So you, you had the, the complaints of teaching to the test. You had the look back in the high school, you know, because a lot of the, the, the exit level was freshman, sophomore stuff, and junior, junior teachers, junior year teachers were, were uh, uh, you know, having to deal with stuff that that was behind them. So you were losing teaching time. Uh, the, the advent of the star, and, and always got to figure out the state of Texas uh, assessment of academic readiness, is supposed to be a, uh, a path or, or a, a ramp towards college readiness. And, and you need to know where you are at each grade. It, say third grade, third through eighth is the star test. Uh, in third grade, what should you know so right. that you will be college ready when you get to 11th grade. But, but is it not the case, Mr. Chairman, that the, if the amount of tox time uh, that the class is focused on is X, that under the star it's actually going to be greater than X, that in fact the amount of time in which everyone's attention will be focused back on the star test is actually going to increase in the transition? Well, it, it, it's, it's more of, of, of how, how the test is being uh, considered. Right. You know, we don't have in statute that you're, you're supposed to have practice tests, you're supposed to have right. drills, you're supposed to have uh, 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 benchmarking, you know, so a lot of the, the response to testing right. has, uh, has been, you know, spending a, a lot more days. Now, to take the, to the, other, the other part is the end of course exams, uh, where a, a teacher is responsible for his or her course and that's going to be, that's going to be tested. Yeah. So it's it's not some statewide minimum skills. It's going to be that course. Uh, Vice Chairman, did we handle the implementation of STAR and the discussion of testing as well as we should have? And is everything is everything hunky dory despite the hubbub? I don't think everything's hunky dory. I don't think we know what STAR is going to do. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, I mean, I I remember a hearing that that you and I and Senator Shapiro sat at, where the the way STAR was organized was laid out and there were three blank stares from us saying, huh, that's not what we thought we were getting. Uh, it didn't change after that, um, despite the fact that the three of us and others said that's not what we thought we is were the, getting. Is this a TEA problem? Do you put this on TEA? I put some of it on TEA, yes, I do. You do? Uh, um, I think there's, I think... Do you think Robert Scott's doing a good job as TEA commissioner? It's a great question to ask at the very end, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think Scott's doing a good job? I think Robert could do a far better job of, of uh, and, and I'll give you an example. Do you think Billy Bean should be TEA commissioner based on our earlier conversation of Moneyball? I, I think, you know, I think, I think Billy Bean plays a role here because we've built this whole accountability system based on this concept that the numbers that those tests give us mean something. And we know that the numbers that those tests give us mean almost nothing for kids that are going to consistently score above the the pass mark. In fact, we know that they're going to that yeah. those kids are going to pass 98 percent of the time the next year. Um, so you put some of this on TEA. So I put some of it on TEA because I honestly don't think they've been forthcoming with us. I think they think that they're in the business of setting policy and and they just will deal with us as they need to.